Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Harbor Freight Digital Angle Gauge. These on sale are like $30. I actually got this one on the back shelf because it had a couple issues. These generally work okay. Uh, from the smartphone generation, it made those, ex not accelerometers, but those gravity sensors have become so cheap that there's been this flurry of those sensors being used in a variety of products, such as independent magnetic uh, angle gauges like this one, which are measure two inches square but only in two dimensions. It actually, the sensor is smart enough to where if you tilt it too far, about past 30 degrees or so, it will give you an error, uh, which I thought is interesting. So it might be a three axis sensor, uh, but it's just set up and programmed to display an error when it gets too far flat. A ton of these hit the market. Many look the same as this Harbor Freight, but then there are a lot of other styles and brands. Many have been integrated into builders levels. Uh, so it's kind of neat and these things can be handy. Uh, I've seen quite a few people use them when they're doing uh, suspension uh, alignment adjustments at home to all sorts of woodworkers. People will put these on the side of saw blades for uh, table saw so it's just easier to see the angle that you're using. Um, some people have had some varying issues with the accuracy of these. This one's been pretty good for me and you can recalibrate them. The one thing I will say is they really hog down the batteries. They use three uh, button cell batteries which are kind of expensive and whether or not it's turned on or off it seems to just suck down the batteries sitting there uh, because it is a soft key meaning that the power is always running through the computer to see if the buttons being hit on and off. There are some features from some nicer ones I would have wished like such as when it hits level or 30 or 45 degrees that the, some of them have a little light that will light up and or beep but that's not the biggest deal uh, one thing I did like about this is it has a really nice die cast body with a seal it has a sealed battery cover and a rubber seal between the back half and the front half of the unit let's go ahead and take a look compare for accuracy if we take and then this is not the best measurement let me a bubble level program on a cell phone but this is a galaxy s6 so it has a, a pretty good quality sensor in it and because it has a case that's not going to work the super it's so fast I'm trying to get it's kind of difficult to use this as a comparison unfortunately I thought that was going to work out a little better it was earlier but compared to the cell phone when I put the phone out of the case against various surfaces it really does end up measure giving the same measurement that this does I was going to say that it does have a plastic screen and so over the actual display it's pretty soft and I can see that getting damaged the I could also see the front part just because of the sticker eventually peeling off it does have the protective layer of thin plastic over the um, heavier plastic face here and so you can peel that off when it gets scratched and you will have a new surface at least for a while. I was going to take a look inside. Let's go ahead and do that. The battery cover is designed to actually use another one of your new button cells to open and close it. What is nice is they have ramps so as you open it, it will pop it out rather than just unlocking it and then you having to tap it against uh, various items. And then of course it takes three batteries and that's one of the biggest issues is it seems inordinately power hungry for just being an angle sensor in a simple display. Another thing I was going to note is that they do have three little button neodymium magnets which do hold on pretty well. But there is some issue with the glue in one of them when I pulled it off some surface and I didn't notice till way later one of the magnets came out. So I did want to point that out. This just has four little screws in the corners so it looks like it's pretty easy to disassemble here. Let's go ahead and do that. One, three, I probably should have skipped past the unscrewing the screws part, but why not? It's only four screws. They're not jammed in there too hard. They're pretty well machined, so I suppose we can just pop that cover off. Here we go. And here we are. Now we have it open. You can see it has a nice seal around the edge. It's actually pretty well built because the circuit board is held in by four larger screws into the metal body. 
and then you can see two smaller screws right behind the display actually there's four one two three four so the whole display and everything is also held uh, pretty securely so it does look like this is designed for a drop but there is some evidence that this was definitely for some other unit or came out uh, was intended for something else and then was put into this this style unit because there are these two wires here inside and they are not connected to anything it was like a speaker or who knows exactly what um, was just cut off. They just cut off, cut it off and left the wires. And I thought that was kind of interesting, but, um, Harbor Freight-esque. They did put some Celastic, a little bit of hot glue right there on the ends of the wires coming from the battery so that they wouldn't fatigue, but they didn't match that on the other side on the actual battery cover. So that's kind of, um, interesting. Anyway, I just wanted to give a quick review of this Harbor Freight digital angle gauge and showing inside that it's a little bit strange and that to show people the part number to see if it may be hackable, to maybe add a LED light or something like that to it. Otherwise, under normal uses, it's pretty good, especially for using with table saws and that kind of thing. Probably one of the best. It's so short um, that it's difficult to really use it for say a carpenter just because you're not measuring over a large enough different distance and so you don't really know what the true average uh, angle is and the fact that it errors out when it's a little bit when it's past 30 degrees and oftentimes you need to have a level uh, that goes two directions so that's something else to consider anyway I really appreciate everybody watching please subscribe Catus Maximus out